What's happening, jig heads? I'm sure you guys have probably been getting sick of the bluegill videos. Trust me, I've been sick of them too. So tonight I'm going to do a little flathead fishing. Come along with me. We'll see if we can't get on a big one. Yep, that's a good sound. Yep, we got him. We found us a flathead. Yep, that'll do. All right, this spot that I'm at is actually a new spot that I have yet to fish for flatheads. Never tried this spot. So I'm going to do a little bit of playing around with depth here real quick. See if we can't figure out how deep it is on my longest cast. Probably put one bait out there as far as I can throw it. Put another bait a little more shallow, a little closer to us. All right, that right there is 10 feet. Let's see where that sets and if that bobber tips up for us. Still not hitting the depth. We're going to back it off to seven. All right, change of plans. We're going to be re-rigging, throwing out on the bottom, trying to make the longest cast we can get. Hey, I appreciate it, my friend. I hope. You got to pay attention to the fellows on the boat showing up at sundown. They tell you they're out deep. Well, then, by golly, they're probably out deep. The Navionics app shows that this area I'm fishing in right out in front of me drops into about 14 foot of water within castable distance, but um, with a bobber on I can't hit it, so we're going to re-rig. We got uh, sinker slide to the leader and we're going to throw a two ounce weight on, sling that darn bait out there as far as we can get it. I'm going to slide over here to this dock to get a little bit further casting distance. <sighs> All right, having some GoPro problems, so lines are in the water. That's a good thing, but uh, some parts may be cut out of that. But on a positive note, we are fishing, and we're fishing for flatheads. Let's keep our fingers crossed for a great big giant tonight. I'll check back with you in a bit. Yeah, I don't know about this spot. Got every fisherman in the water coming out right now. A lot of boat noise. I guess we'll see. We're gonna give it a little while. It's now getting dark, so. Yep, that's a good sound. Yep, we got him. It's a good one too, y'all. That didn't take long at all. Well, he ain't as good as I thought. I'm just excited because it's been so long since I've caught a decent catfish. He may get bigger as he gets into the bank. We'll see. Yeah, he may be a pretty decent fish. Coming in again. We found us a flathead, and he ain't happy about being in at the bank. Yeah, that didn't take long at all, y'all. I've been set up with poles in the water for maybe about 15 minutes. That ain't a bad one. Yep, 
Oh. Yep, that'll do. Yeah, check him out, y'all. That's a good one. He ain't a super giant, but he's definitely a nice one. y'all coming in just after sundown to tag this big old tanker I tell you I've been missing this guy I haven't caught one since the beginning of June July was terrible but finally got on another decent one I'm gonna get this fish weighed and then we'll get it released Let me turn my headlamp off. Kind of excited. All right, y'all, 24 and a quarter. We're still stuck in the mid 20s. Let's hope we get on something a little bit bigger yet tonight. We'll get this fish back. Ugh. He's a pretty one. The last one I caught was real dark. This one's got some nicer colors on him. All right, y'all, I'm gonna turn him around so he can get on out of here. Come on there, big fella. There he goes. See you later, bud. <sighs> 24 and a quarter, man. Still stuck in the mid 20s. We're gonna stick it out for a while. It's early. Sun literally just went down, so let's hope that a 40, 50 pounder comes around yet tonight. Stick with me. Now here I was bad mouthing this spot with all this boat traffic coming in and literally last boat was coming out of the water when that fish hit. Crazy stuff, man. Usually these fish, well fish in general don't like boat noise, but apparently it didn't bother the old flathead tonight. Pretty happy about that. O ye of little faith. All right, we're going to get some bait back out in the water. I'm not real sure if I want to stay too terribly long in this same spot. I don't know, usually if there's one decent one running around, he's patrolling the area and the others are hunting other areas of the water, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll give it about another hour. If I don't get anything here, there's another spot that's right around the corner. I got enough bait, I can probably pack up and go hit it too. Let me get this little feller slung out there. We're gonna throw him in a little bit different area though, I think. Instead of going straight out where I was, I'm gonna throw from down this direction a little bit. Well, that was definitely a lot of fun. The trip definitely did not start out on the best of notes. But it's gotten better. Walk this dude back over here. Baits are back in. Now y'all know I love my crappie fishing, but man, there's just something downright exciting about hearing that clicker go screaming and reeling down on one of those big flathead. If y'all ain't tried this, man, it is extremely fun. It's difficult, and I tell you what, you go home skunked more times than not. Uh, miss fish, struggles catching bait, struggles finding good spots, but uh, when you connect, man, it makes it all worth it. Good, how are you? Oh, I got down about 6.30. Yeah. One big flathead. 24 and a half pounds. Dawson. Yeah. Huh. How far is that from here? About 25 minutes. Okay. Yeah. 
bluegill. That rod and reel right there. Yeah, I know you can't keep them from a cast net. I'm smarter than that. We have a lot. And we get it. You pull through the fly head back. Yeah. Yeah. You want to see a picture of it? Yeah, man. Heck yeah. I'll be happy to show you all, man. How long did you fight it? Not very long. It was only 24 and a quarter. All right, game plan, y'all. I think we're going to move. Um, I don't know. I'm on the fence on this one. That 24 and a quarter wasn't necessarily a, a giant flathead by any means, but flatheads are extremely territorial, and I think staying here honestly kind of lessens my chance of possibly hooking up on a second it's still early it's only 9 30 so i uh, planned on staying out until midnight tonight so i think i'm going to relocate as i just get a hit on one of the rods man see that's why this is such a hard decision i don't know i'm going to pack a few things up see if this uh, clicker runs off a little bit more and we'll see what happens should i stay or should i go now the ultimate question all right, y'all, decision's been made. I'm moving to the next spot. I'm going to hope that it's open. But I don't know. I don't think I'm going to sit in the same spot for the rest of the night after catching that one. I may be rolling the dice on this, but knowing how territorial uh, flatheads can be, I just don't want to uh, waste the remainder of my evening that I've taken out here to fish to not catch one. We're out here to catch fish. We're out here to catch big fish. So let's increase our chances, move up spots. I got another spot up here that's actually uh, pretty much identical in regards to depth, um, uh, deep water into shallow water, stuff like that. So hopefully uh, we're onto something. We'll see. All right, y'all. Spot number two. Give me a sec. We'll get some baits in the water. I think we're gonna go big or go home. I got this channel cat that I caught earlier. And I do believe we're gonna throw him out there. Let's see if old Mr. Flathead likes him just as much as he likes bluegill. He's a feisty one. pitch him out quite as far, but by golly, we're going to give it a whirl. Wasn't terrible. He'll definitely draw some attention, that's for sure. All right, we weighed him out. Womp, womp, womp. Well, no dice, y'all. Sorry to get your hopes up. I uh, definitely gave it a good solid try tonight. Was really hoping to get on a second one, especially after getting that first one so early. But uh, hey, we'll take it. It was a solid fish. Better than nothing at all, right? Anyway, if y'all uh, like what you saw tonight, please hit that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Subscribe if you would. Definitely helps out the channel, and it's free. Remember, folks, you can't catch them sitting on the couch. I'll see you on the next one.